What's up, guys? Andy Drifter here. It's Monday, so you know what that means. It's time for my weekly edition of Card Show Pickups. Got five cards to share with you in this video, starting off with this 2023 Topps Chrome Rookie Card Auto. It's an on-card auto of Tigers right fielder Kerry Carpenter, who had a very nice year. 20 home runs, over 60 RBI. He led the team in OPS, and he had a 278 batting average all the while. Doing this in playing in just 118 games. The Tigers, their future is looking bright between Carpenter, Spencer Torkelson, and Riley Green. That is a fearsome trio in the making. Miguel Cabrera is now retired, so that is going to free up money to bring in some more big bats. I realize Detroit is not the biggest attraction for potential free agents. But yeah, the Tigers, watch out for them in the coming years. They are going to be a force, and one of the reasons being so is because of Kerry Carpenter. Next up is a 2021 Luminance Rookie Card Auto, another on-card auto of Buccaneers backup QB Kyle Trask. He was selected second or in the second round of the 2021 draft. Put up some great stats in his final year with the Gators, almost 4,300 yards passing. Over 40 touchdowns versus just eight interceptions. Now, there were some doubts about him when the draft uh, was approaching. But Tampa Bay, they took a chance on him. Right now, Baker Mayfield, he's got the reins for the Buccaneers. He's on a one-year deal. Assuming that he puts up a half-decent season, he is going to test his luck in the free agent market. Which means that the Buccaneers may hand off the keys to Kyle Trask in the near future. So yeah, why not get ahead of the ball? I got this relatively cheap. So that is the second card I have for you, a rookie card auto of Buccaneers QB, Kyle Trask. Let's make a big left turn with card number three, 2022. Leaf Pop Century Signatures of Fashion Icon Tommy Hilfiger. This man has been doing it for decades upon decades. His clothes have been seen everywhere in every genre of entertainment, from rock to hip-hop to the silver screen to magazine ads. This man continues to reinvent himself. And all throughout his career, people may not know, but he has donated to many, many charitable causes. You know, I come from humble beginnings, and when I was a teenager in the mid-90s, mid late 90s and I was in high school if you had a Tommy Hilfiger shirt with a giant logo plastered on it you were considered hot stuff fast forward to now I have learned that you can dress nice without dressing loud so on occasion I will wear Tommy Hilfiger gear but the more subtle stuff in terms of the logo I still think he makes great clothing but yeah that is the third card I have for you a signature from Tommy Hilfiger, fashion icon, and philanthropist. Let's get back to baseball. I am holding a 2020 Donruss Optic Auto of Rangers third baseman Josh Young, who made his first career all-star appearance a few months ago. Finished off the season with 23 home runs and 70 RBI to go along with an OPS of 781. He was the front runner to win AL Rookie of the Year for much of the season, but he missed some games due to a thumb injury off a bizarre play. And Gunnar Henderson stepped up, had a strong second half. So more than likely, Josh Young will finish second in AL Rookie of the Year voting. But he had the last laugh because Gunnar Henderson is no longer in the playoffs. And the Rangers continue. And Josh Young is a big part of that. So far this postseason, 9 for 23. Five of those nine hits have gone for extra bases. So yeah, the Rangers, if they keep up what they've been doing, they might make their third World Series appearance in franchise history. Keep in mind, they are one of the few teams that has never won a World Series. So it's good to see a youngster like Josh Young not buckle under the pressure. And yeah, he's hitting well and could be a star in the making. The final card I have for you is a PSA 10 2021 Prism Hype No Huddle of Chargers QB Justin Herbert tonight. The Chargers, they host the Cowboys for Monday Night Football. It's going to be an interesting matchup. Let's see how Dallas bounces back from their thrashing last week against San Fran. And the Chargers, they're coming off a bye week. They sit at 2-2. Two and two. 
Right now, Herbert is in the top three as far as QBR rating and completion percentage. The names you hear for early MVP contenders, Mahomes, Brock Purdy, Tua, but uh, Justin Herbert, he might be a dark horse in that MVP race. I had the pleasure of meeting him, I think it was last year in Jersey, at an autograph signing. There is footage of that signing in my short section if you'd like to check that out. I paid $175 for his autograph. He signed a matted 8x10. I thought that was a good price. I realize in this economic downturn, $175 is a lot of money, at least to most people. But for someone of his caliber, I thought that was quite a fair deal. So I was happy to add that signature as well as this PSA 10 slab to my collection. So that concludes this week's edition of Card Show Pickups. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and have a great day and enjoy Sunday Night Football and the two MLB postseason games that are going on tonight.